Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this card making project, and I'd just like to wish you all a very happy new year. This card making project is to make a gorgeous thank you card. We're going to use lots of Anna Griffin products, but I thought it would be nice to make a thank you card after this festive season to thank anybody that sent us a gorgeous gift or we've spent time with. So as always, I'm going to start off and I've just run the bone folder along the edge to make a nice, sharp, neat edge to make it look more professional and stand up nicely on the mantelpiece. On our cardometer, this is a 7x5 inch card and that's how it looks. It's just a little bit smaller than the A5 and it's a nice area of card to cover. It's not too big and not too small and as many of you know, this is my favourite size. So the first thing we're going to do is the inside of our card. Those amongst us that are very keen eyed will see that I've already made a little pencil mark just to one side and that is simply for a marker for me because I want to position something um, in the right place really. You won't have to do that at home because you'd be making it as you go along but obviously I prepare everything so I wanted it so it was just in the right place at the right time as it were. So the first thing I've done is I've taken one of Anna's metallic layers and it's one of the foil layers and I've simply taken it for the front but then I've cut out the centre of it as we know we like to be economical. So this section is for the front of the card and this section is from the middle that I've saved. And what I've done is I've cut it so that it will fit on the inside. But I've cut out the centre of it because I want our sentiment to fit inside. So what I've done is I literally stamped the sentiment. I laid it on top of the layer. And then using a craft knife... I cut all the way around to take out the aperture knowing that the message will then fit inside of it. The little marker on the card is for this section so that I know where the corner needs to go. So taking in the marker it needs to sit there. Okay, so that I know is in position for what else we're going to do to the inside. So that's my stamp sentiment where I've used the chalkboard stamps, my favourite stamps, and I'm simply going to slot the sentiment into the aperture. That way the inside isn't really bulky. Uh, for posting because I know a lot of you have sort of said if you've got really bulky cards then it costs a lot to post them. Now this is from the Vintage Toppers 2 set from Anna and I've just taken one of the roses and I'm going to pop that just at the side of our sentiment and that way you've got a little bit of fancy in the middle. You've still got enough room to write to and from and your message. And that's going to sit perfectly with the outside of the card. So for the outside, I'm just going to use my bone folder again. And I'm going to start off with the metallic layer, the foil layer, that you've already seen where I've been economical with the middle and taking it out. I've got double sided tape on the back of this and I'm simply just going to position it on the front of the card. I'm just going to turn this so that I can see it because reaching around a camera I can't always see the edges properly. So that's our first layer. Next I've taken one of the smaller layers from the summer fall collection and I've put tape on the back of it. Now this is a contrasting colour 
to the actual pale pink that we've got on the base and I've put flat tape on it, not 3D tape and that sits nicely over the aperture from the base layer. Next what I've done is again I've dipped into the vintage um, toppers set 2 from Anna and I've got 3D foam on the back of this, two layers and I've also got some flat tape under two positions on the actual topper itself. Now the tape is to ensure that we position the rosettes in the right place because we're going to add two rosettes to our topper and I've gone for the black and white stripy ones and we're going to add one in this section below the swirls so you can see the rosette sticks to the tape that's actually on the topper that I've added to make sure that we just get them in the right position like that and it just holds it till we have time to take the tape off the back of the rosettes. There's two rows of the 3D foam just so that it matches in height to the rosettes and then I'm going to pop this on the front of my card like so. Very very simple card but very pretty and ideal for a thank you. Now this is from the favourite flowers, 120 favourite flowers from Anna and I think it's set two. It, the stickers, so you simply peel the back of it away and I'm just going to position that to one side of the card in the corner there. And then finally, well I say finally, I'm going to make my own sentiment. I've used the chalkboard stamp again to say thank you so very much and I've got flat tape on the back of it and I've cut out a layer that fits just a little bit over our sentiment so it's a bit bigger for the mat and layer so we'll just pop that on and the actual pink layer I've already got 3D foam on just one row and we'll peel the back of that away and I'm just going to add my sentiment just to one side here over the flowers like that and then to finish it I have got a little red bow that I've put 3D foam on and I'm simply going to add to let's think now we could put it either here or on an angle but I'm going to stick with here just underneath the sentiment because it's a little bit different and that finishes off our card perfectly and that's such a pretty card to be able to say thank you to somebody for their gifts or their company of just being them and I really hope you've enjoyed this. Just a quick card, as I say, to say thank you to somebody. So I'd like to say thank you to you for watching. And hopefully I shall see you next time.